Telephone conversation between President Johnson and Senator Thomas Keekle on November 29, 1963, at 8.25 p.m. Hello. Senator Russell on 2191. Just one moment. Thank you. Dick? Dick? Hello, sir. Yes? I'm awful sorry, Mr. President. It's Senator Keekle I have up All right, put Tommy, I uh, sorry that the government moved to Florida. <laughs> I tried. I'm going to tell my friends in California, Mr. President. Well, the only one that uh, I can locate not in Florida is Dirks. <laughs> you and Mansfield and Humphrey and all the rest of them have moved down there, and I'm going to name it uh, uh, Cape uh, Senate instead of Cape Kennedy. <laughs> uh, what I called you about, Tommy, was uh, I was naming a commission. Uh, on the assassination of the president to make a full study for the world and the United States. Yes, and uh, I wanted to discuss with you who I was naming, but I I, I got Dirksen and I got uh, Mansfield, and uh, I'm sure that uh, you'll think it's all right, but whether you, uh, I want you to know who it was. Yes, I got the Chief Justice to be chairman of it. Magnificent. I got Dick Russell. Fine. I got John Sherman Cooper, That's your manager great. from. I got Hale Boggs and Jerry Ford of Michigan from the House. I think both of them are good. Got Alan Dulles and John McCloy. It's five Republicans and two Democrats. So I just wanted you to know uh, uh, the president announced today that he's appointed a special commission to study and report upon the facts and circumstances relating to the assassination of the late president, the subsequent violent death of the man charged with assassination. The president stated that the majority and minority leadership of the Senate and the House had been consulted with respect to the proposed special commission. The members of the commission are right. Chief Justice Earl Warren, Senator Richard Russell, Senator John Sherman Cooper, Representative Hale Boggs, Representative Jerry Ford, Honorable Alan Dulles, Honorable John McCloy. Now, Warren and Cooper and Ford and Dulles McCloy are Republicans. And they've accepted, Mr. President? Yes, sir, all of them. I called each of them myself. And in addition to that, I called every leader myself. And I'm still at the office, and I'm catching hell, and I like to trade jobs with you. And if you don't mind, bring Betty on back here and, and find a good constitutional lawyer to tell us how to make the transition. No, sir. I would, no, no, Mr. President, I would not do that. But, uh, Mr. President, uh, that, ought to, uh, that ought to eliminate the necessity for the Senate Judiciary Committee, shouldn't it? Yes, and Eastland agreed that he wouldn't go ahead with it if it do this, and the House agreed the same way. Oh, that's just excellent, Mr. President. That, I'm not kidding you. That's great. Well, I know how you, how, what a good American you are and how you want to support every time you could, and that's why I called you early in the day to just before this went out to tell you but it has gone out. It went out about 15, 20 minutes ago. Well, I'm, I'm grateful and honored that you would call me. Incidentally, uh, I, I think you should take a considerable pride in what uh, the Senate did the other night on that month thing. Well, I'm, I'm glad it did, and uh, uh, I, I don't know... Uh, I don't know what's going to come, but I'm going to do the best I can as long as I'm here, and that's all I want to do. And you and Betty know how I feel about you all, and please, uh, I don't expect you to abandon your principles or abandon your party, but our principles are about the same, and uh, I told Otis Chandler that last week. He went hunting with me down there in Texas, and I said, uh, 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 this this is a, this is an American first, and that's my philosophy, and that's the way I wanted to send it away from Eisenhower's, because I didn't play politics. I was responsible, and I supported it. Yes, sir. Bill Nolan fought him, and by God, I, I got a majority the first two years. You sure did, and I tell you that. Uh, that and if they followed it. you, they'd do the same thing with us. Yes, sir. But uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted you to know, and and uh, I thought that you would object to Cooper, your manager. Uh, I, I, I think he's <laughs> great, and, and I think that chairman, uh, Mr. President, is the greatest. He turned it down today, and Bobby and them went to him. So I just called him, sent him down here, and I said, "Now listen, you you get in in World War One uniform, and you go and fight if you thought you could save one American life." Now these wild people are charging Khrushchev killed Kennedy, and Castro killed Kennedy, and everybody else killed Kennedy. Now we've had 60 FBI agents working for seven days, and they've got the story, and they've got the fingerprints, and they've got everything else. But the American people in the world have got to know who killed Kennedy and why, and somebody's got to evaluate that report. And uh, if they don't, why, Khrushchev uh, 
moved on us, he could kill 39 million in an hour. And we could kill 100 million in his country in an hour. But uh, here I'm asking you to do something, and you're saying no to everybody, when uh, you could be speaking for 39 million people. Now, I just don't think you won't do that. Tears just came in his eyes. It just came up just, uh, you never saw anything like it. And he said, I can't say no. Oh, Mr. President, I think that just... He's a patriot. He's a patriot, that fellow. I, I got you better breed some more like him. You, you better just, Mr. President. you just better breed him. Well, I'm, I'm going to be long as I'm here. There's nothing I want. I got more than I deserve, and it's too frightening for me to even think of. And I, but I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to be just, and I'm going to be as nonpartisan as man can be and still hold the office. Yes, sir. And I'm going to expect your help, and I'm going to give you mine. Thank you, Mr. President. You Good have night. it, and God bless you, and we pray for you. Good night. Give Betty a hug for me. Thank you, Mr. President. Bye. Bye.